U.S. President Joe Biden is the staunchest supporter of Israel and its war against Hamas and mission of destruction in Gaza. Indonesian President Joko Widodo, however, is also the leader of the largest Muslim country. And they will be meeting on Monday at the White House where there will be awkwardness and a tinge of anxiety as VOA's White House Bureau Chief Patsy Witakuswara reports. Indonesian cities have erupted in pro-Palestinian rallies since the October 7 Hamas attack and emotions are strong. What Hamas and the Palestinian people did against the invaders Israel was their way of fighting to achieve their independence. There's nothing wrong because that is also what the heroes of the Indonesian nation did when they fought to achieve independence. That passion will be on Indonesian President Joko Widodo's mind as he meets President Joe Biden at the White House Monday. Not a single Indonesian president has dared not to defend Palestine. Our founding fathers have laid the foundation of our foreign policy, non-aligned, free and active, defend the oppressed. The two sides have a large gap to bridge, particularly on a ceasefire in Gaza, but are keen to maintain good relations. Monday's meeting was arranged after Biden skipped the ASEAN summit hosted by Indonesia in September, sending Vice President Kamala Harris in his place and going to Vietnam instead. The leaders last met at the G20 summit in India this year. They are expected to upgrade bilateral ties to a comprehensive strategic partnership, a status Jakarta already shares with Beijing. The leaders will explore opportunities to enhance cooperation on the clean energy transition, advance economic prosperity, bolster regional peace and stability, and reinforce our people-to-people -people ties. The two leaders will also coordinate on efforts to reinforce ASEAN centrality and uphold international law and promote a free and open Indo-Pacific. A key goal for Indonesia, a limited free trade agreement on critical minerals that will allow Indonesian nickel used in electric vehicle batteries to qualify for tax incentives under the 2022 U.S. Inflation Reduction Act. Indonesia has the world's largest nickel reserves, which it mines and refines largely with Chinese financing. The U.S. is eager to uh, you know, invest in this area, especially because I think, you know, through the lens of China competition, making sure that the nickel industry in, in Indonesia is not completely uh, dominated there would be, would, be, would be a crucial strategic interest. Some American lawmakers are against the deal due to heavy Chinese investment, labor and environmental concerns in the Indonesian nickel industry. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News, Washington.